Hi everyone, it's Editor Chan. Remember when it rained and my shirt got zapped? Well, it rained again today, so I showed up to the inventory soaking wet. That means I need poses with a wet t-shirt. The simplest way to do this would be to adjust the transparency of my shirt using the settings in the pose matrix, but this presents problems when my shirt is made out of more objects than just a shirt. Since I'm such a fan of the character editor, I'm wearing branded clothing today, but when I make my shirt transparent, the logo stays solid. This presents a problem. The simplest way to simulate transparency is to blend two images together, one with the shirt and one without, but that requires post-processing in Photoshop. Every time I add or tweak a pose, I would need to fix it in Photoshop again, which can be quite tedious. Enter the Programmable Image Import Pipeline, or PP, available in version 6.2 of the Character Editor. The Import Pipeline allows you to build post-processing effects right into the import process. Let's create a pipeline for my compose and check it out. Type a name for the pipeline and click Create. We are presented with the Pipeline Editor and a graphical representation of our pipeline. We have two nodes. A cell and a result. Right now our pipeline just takes the code from our cell and outputs it as the result. We can add additional steps by adding nodes. I'll add a cell reference node. This pulls in an image from another cell in our matrix. Since transparency means blending with an image that doesn't have the shirt, I'll choose the compose for my shirtless stage. Now, I want to blend these two images together. Conveniently, there is a blend node for that. A blend node takes two images, the base image and the blend image, and blends them together by a certain amount. Let's hook up our images to the blend node by clicking their output ports and dragging a wire into the corresponding input of the blend node. I'll also need to add a slider node to control the amount, or it won't blend anything. Once I plug that into the amount input, we see the preview for this node update whenever I adjust the amount. I can also get a better view by double-clicking the blend node to pull it up in the preview. Now when I move the slider around, we can easily see how it affects the blending between the two images, making my shirt, including the logo, transparent just like I wanted. Of course, now my jacket is transparent too. But I wasn't wearing it when it was raining, so it shouldn't have gotten wet. To fix that, I'll need a pose where I'm wearing the jacket but not the shirt, which doesn't exist. Since this won't be one of my clothing stages, I'll create a new sheet for it and mark it stage independent, which means it won't create rows for every stage. Next I'll rename the row to be something more descriptive of the clothing. Now to make the code for it. I'll grab my default pose and use the crop button to force it to load into KKL. And then in KKL I'll take off the shirt and logo. Remember to have the right filters applied when exporting a code. Now I'll take the code and plug it into the wardrobe code for my no-shirt row. After confirming that it's importing properly, we're ready to use this in the pipeline. So I'll jump back to where I assigned the pipeline to the main sheet's compose and use the edit button to pull up the editor. Here I'll update the cell reference to point to the new shirtless pose. Now if I preview the blend node, we see it's exactly how I want. A wet t-shirt and logo, but a dry jacket. We still haven't actually plugged the blend node's output into the result, so let's go ahead and do that. There. If I close out now and import my calm image again, it now runs through the pipeline, and I get my wet effect automatically. No Photoshop necessary. We can reuse a pipeline across poses, so let's link it up to the happy pose too and re-import that one. Uh-oh. What just happened? Well, if we pull up the pipeline from the happy pose, we see the problem. Our cell is the happy pose, but the pose reference was using a calm pose. Obviously those won't blend well. How to fix this? Your first thought might be to duplicate the pipeline for each pose and use different cell references, but that defeats the whole purpose of pipeline reuse. Thankfully, there's an easier way. By linking the key output of the cell node into the key input of the cell reference node, the cell reference will use the pose key of the cell node, instead of the pose key of the chosen reference cell, 
while retaining the references stage. So if I open the pipeline from my compose, the reference uses the shirtless compose. But if I open it from the happy pose, the reference uses the shirtless happy pose. Now if I re-import the happy pose, it works correctly. I can link up my nervous pose in the same way. And we see that it works correctly too. But it's still a hassle linking up a pipeline to every single pose, so let's clear these out, and instead apply the pipeline to the entire stage, by clicking the row header and filling it in there. Now if I re-import everything in the row, we see that it ran all the poses through the pipeline. How convenient. There are still some problems though. First, that no shirt pose I made. If we open my character folder, you can see it generated images for all those poses, which is a waste of space, because I'm never going to use them for poses in the actual game. Thankfully, we can avoid this by marking a row or sheet in the pose matrix as a pipeline asset. When this is checked, the pipeline won't save images to your character folder for these poses. That means I can safely delete these from my folder, and if I re-import a pose, it'll still work, but it won't generate an image for the no-shirt poses. Another problem isn't actually a problem with making wet t-shirts, but with the fact that you can't layer arms above image attachments in KKL. The import pipeline allows us to fix this problem too, but we'll save that for another video. See you then. I need to go dry off before I catch a cold.